What's up guys and girls, this is Hashir Tihami back again with the fifth tutorial in this series and in the last one uh, we created this fantastic table using auto layout and you can see this is the whole table is responsive but we were designing this specific table in the last one we just created the actual structure of the table and didn't do anything with these columns and this one and this one so in this one we are going to wrap this up so for the status column we have three different statuses so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to create those three status and for that i am going to use the components now why am i doing that so components make your life a whole lot easier if you know how to use it so i have already started a series on components uh, right now what I'm going to do is uh, create variants of this component if you are new to components and variants then you might want to go to that series so you can have a basic understanding of how to create components and why we use variants so for now I just created this one auto layout frame for the single status that is done now for auto layout you already know we can fix the spacing between them we have the color the indication for the done and now i'm going to press alt command k or control alt k for windows we have created a status oops component now we need a variant that is for progress so i'm going to click this cute little button and we have a variant i'm going to change this to on progress on progress if you want to see what's going on here you just want to increase the width of it and for this one we have a different color i'm going to pick this one that's orange and the third one would be what was it let me see failed okay bad luck anyway so we have three components oh actually we have three variants of one component done on progress and failed so what i'm going to do is name these so it is easier for us to find first one is done the other one is progress and the third one is failed all right so we already had created cells for our table right so for the cells it would be really nice that we have all the types of cells in this specific component so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a, a variant in our cell component and take one of these statuses and put it right here now this specific cell is is not that special so I'm gonna call it text the other one would be status and why did I do that why did I define these statuses differently and then the cell individually so if I pull that one out you can see that I, I have the choice to either select text cell or a status cell but if I want to change the status inside that specific component I might want to dive in by clicking double click or you might get it from there as well select the component and now I have the full authority to change the progress or done or you know any of these statuses that we had defined here and in future if you find out that oops I forgot one status to add then it is really simple you just have to click this variant button you will define a new variant define its color and boom it will be incorporated in that specific variant pretty cool huh okay so for now we don't need that all right so the other one is ready let's just change these because we have defined it so I'm gonna change these to statuses and it's done voila and uh, if I want to change the status I would just have to double click select the status and you know change the status okay so the other one was ticker again it's just text base then there's timestamp again text base so I'm not gonna uh, spend much time on it I'm just going to type some random oops text over here and for timestamp I'm going to um, just put some random date for now just so it looks clean and done all right so for progress we have this cute little progress bar and you might want to see also that the 
table is working so yes it is working we are done with our status column and it's still intact wow that's a miracle because anyway i'm a genius so why won't it be Heh, that was a joke anyway so next one is progress bars now for progress bars the easiest way to create a progress bar in auto layout is to define it define a simple rectangle i'm going to give it a four radius um it's pretty thick you don't want it that thick all right and then press shift a now when i press shift a you can see that it's automatically going to define the eight padding on each side so i don't want that i just need zero padding why do i need that so I'm going to explain it in a bit. Hang on. Now I'm going to specify the width of this progress bar by going here and make it fixed width. And now I'm going to select the rectangle inside that auto layout frame and going to make it a bit smaller. Now when I click the frame and give it a fill color, you can see that the background color is filled and this can be used as our progress bar. All right, so the background would be white and this has the radius four. So I'm going to give a four radius to the background as well. And yep, we are ready with our progress bar as well. So all we need is a text here, hundred percent. Okay. I see a problem here. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Okay. I think it's done. If you want to change the height and width, you can just do it by doing this and grab the rectangle and make it the same height as the background. And that's it. So again, I'm going to do the same thing as I did for statuses. I'm going to create a component first. I'm going to define these two in a single frame of auto layout again for distance and all the control K a component was defined going to name it progress and I'm going to add a new variant in it I'm going to pick this color for progress since it's 100% we don't need that width I'm going to make it wide enough for the second one this is orange and 75% okay now you can see that when I did that uh, it kind of moved and uh, we don't want that to move like this so the easiest way would be to define the width of that text that you had selected so this text is how wide is it uh, it's 26 pixels wide so I'm going to define this one as well, we'll go for 26 pixels wide and yep we're done because uh, I defined this according to this one because there is not going to be a number more than 100% right so that's the maximum width we are talking about behind that progress bar so I'm going to add another variant and for this one it is red colored I'm gonna pick this cute little color from whoa what happened okay cool and just gonna drop it down to 12% and again its width was 26 so I'm gonna do the same with this one all right it's done and again I'm going to define another cell for progress name it progress right over here and paste one of the progress bars in here cool now you can see that there is a bit of spacing between this so you can adjust it by directly you know changing the width of that specific cell and that won't affect it because we have auto layout now I am going to select all of these boxes and select progress now what happened here is the height of these specific cells were defined hug we don't want hug we need fill container and it still doesn't work because the frame they were in was not defined as fill container so I'm going to again select this and fill it for the container and that's done so now all you got to do is change these statuses I'm gonna just throw random status here and there just for you know 
example and I think it's cute enough all right so last one is action we need two icons so I already have these two icons all I need to do is create a new cell and again it depends what kind of icons you are using if you are using a library predefined you just want to grab those icons and paste them here in my case I haven't really defined any design system yet so I'm going to use these icons right now and yes copy them and I'm pressing Control shift R right now what it does is it replaces the items that you have copied with the item that you have selected so i have selected this specific layer lorem ipsum text and i'm going to press Control shift r so what it did was it replaced those icons that i had copied with the object that i had selected quite cool huh and again i'm going to increase the height of these icons maybe give a bit more padding about 16 pixels mm. and yeah we're done and now all we want to do is grab all of these cells right over here and go to variant 4 that I haven't named yet so I'm gonna press this and call it action because it was defined as action column right here okay and again the same thing happened so I am going to press or select all these cells and press fill container and the container they are in should also be defined as fill container and wow that is awesomeness right here so yep you have created a flexible auto layout table just as defined as here it is a bit different but you know you can fix that right okay so that's it for this tutorial Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I am going to make the auto layout chart that is present right in front of you. I'm going to teach you all how to make a responsive chart that can be used on auto layout and be responsive on all the devices. So that is going to be a really interesting tutorial. So yeah, stay tuned. Cheers.